Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here hello and welcome so today I'm going to be testing out a product from P. Louise so I'm going to be testing out the Cut Carver so I actually purchased this like a few weeks ago and I keep on forgetting to actually test it out on camera or test it at all it's just been sitting <laughs> in my little box but I got it in this little cute box as well I mentioned so many times that every time I get a delivery from P. Louise their outside packaging is absolutely gorgeous so I picked this up on like a bit of a discount um, this is quite an expensive product so this is like 15 pounds and I got it for 15% off but then I obviously still paid for delivery and stuff like that but you know what it came and I was like okay I want to give it a go again completely forgot about it so what this is is it's a tool to cut your crease with so I was reading the back of it obviously before I started filming um, and it's quite a long story so basically they've just been formulating for three years the best way and the best product to cut creases with because P. Louise you know they have an academy where you can um, like learn to become an MUA and do stuff like that their social media is just completely full of like absolutely stunning makeup looks and of course they have the cut canvas now so, sorry the cut carver which is for cutting your creases it's such a weird sentence I don't know but I'm just very intrigued so yeah I picked it up and I thought I would just show you guys today how to use it and if I can successfully do it um, when I opened it at the box it's really I don't know if it's like an oily residue has like come out of it because it slightly leaked I mean it's been a bit warm in London so it's been kind of sitting with my other makeup so I don't know if it's kind of melted but you do get quite a decent amount of product so you do get this is it but what I want to know is this like a glorified like Vaseline or is it a glorified like makeup remover and stuff like that because a lot of her products do tend to be quite affordable like she always has amazing discounts I really like her kind of social media presence and stuff like that just the way like the encouragement that she has towards people um, and so I thought I would just give this a go the way that it's kind of stated out the best way to do this so I'll kind of do it in the like quickest way possible because it's a lot of writing um, so going in after your chosen P. Louise base your favorite P. Louise palette shades take your 7072 brush which weirdly enough I do have because I was looking through my brushes and I was like do I have this brush and essentially it's just a flat brush so I got this part of um, one of her budget boxes um, uh, about two months ago so that's very handy um, and so you just scoop out a small amount onto a mixing palette or for personal use use it on the back of your hand I'm just gonna use my ISO clean palette because I don't like putting products on my hand to be honest um, coat the bristles with a brush with the product stencil um, over your eyelid the shape that you want to create with your cut crease this will leave a glossy stencil that can be wiped away to uncover a clean space and then layer your P. Louise base or paint okay so what I'm actually gonna go in with first is some eyeshadow because obviously I can't cut a crease without any eyeshadow so I'm gonna use my uh, watch the Queen conquer palette because I absolutely adore this palette I love this palette um, I've recently been doing a lot more like TikToks if you want to follow me on there it's not anything special but I've been basically um, just been showing some of my favorite makeup if you guys want to like follow me on there I always leave my information down below so I'm just gonna do like a simple eye look um, and then we'll use the cut carver afterwards so I'm gonna take the kind of yellowish red side and just do something like around here and then try and create a cut crease if that makes any sense again my skills are not um, amazing but I want to see if I can actually achieve something with this so I'm using the shade sacrifice instead of holding this product up because the palette up because it's such a big palette I just want to um, just tell you what the name is instead so one thing I can really recommend if you really want to try P. Louise um, this is actually for a lot of brands these days I, I've even done it with Made by Mitchell but they're TikToks they're always doing um, like big discounts like the other day I saw on her um, Instagram that they were talking about on their TikTok was that their bases are now were, were like one pound fifty 
and they were normally like ten pounds. So if you really want to try like her um, her pro bases, which I absolutely love, I think they're great. Um, they're normally ten pounds, but on her TikTok, you can get it for one fifty, or they might change it every so often, or they have some discounts. In one of my videos, I mentioned that I actually fi I finally tried the uh, Made by Mitchell blushes, and I actually got it for two pounds. And it was free delivery as well, so that was something insane because I but I think they're normally like 12, 13, 14 pounds, even more than that. Um, and I was obviously quite intrigued if it was real. But if you go onto their page and obviously they have like the blue tick and everything, you know it's them. So definitely have a look on her TikTok, but she always has some kind of like really interesting discount. Obviously, I'm not like you know kissing her ass or anything but i do genuinely feel that some of her products are really really great i'm going to go in with a smaller brush now and i'm going to go in with my turn which is this gorgeous red um and so i'm just going to put that in my crease but yeah i do feel like a lot of her products are really really great i've not really tried anything that i haven't liked although i'm not sure how this cut cap Cut Carver. I keep on. I don't know why I'm calling it something else. It sounds like um, kind of like a Dexter style serial killer. Cut Carver. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm really intrigued to see how this works. I have so many of her paints that I want to try and like to use more of, but my skills are just not so great, as you can tell by my skills right now. Um, but I just really love like her makeup her eyeshadow palettes are really nice and um her lip products are pretty nice as well and i do really like their budget boxes because for 30 pounds you get to try a lot of like new products and you get to try um just a variety of what they're about and it always seems like they're really busy in their warehouses because she's constantly doing like videos of them working and obviously that's like they're doing their job but it's just very interesting to see how um, it just works. So I'm going to go in with another orange which is called Can't Compete so it's kind of similar to the first shade Sacrifice but I'm going to put it over here and I will be using the canvas in a minute to kind of clean all of this up because I feel like I've deliberately made it a bit more messier just so I can see um, how this will work. Obviously my skills aren't great but looking at the academy that they have it's something I would absolutely love to do but it's all the way in Manchester I believe and obviously I don't live in Manchester but to do the courses you have to um, go to their academy like once like two or three times a week um, and obviously I can't do that because I live in London and Manchester is very far and especially quite expensive um, the courses themselves are quite interesting like you obviously become a certified like MUA in that aspect but I don't know the looks that they do are just outstanding there's something that I would never be able to do in my whole life right so that is kind of the gist of what I'm gonna do so we're gonna take my um, cut carver we're taking my what brush is it 7072 so it's a gorgeous flat brush this is part of her P Louise's cancelled line which I don't believe exists anymore because it just um, I don't know she discontinued a lot of her stuff but I've got a tissue on hand to kind of get everything going so let's see what we can do so when you do feel it it is very very soft like it is very glossy um, and so I'm gonna take some just on just I'm just gonna like, brush my use my brush basically and see if it does anything I'm not I, I don't, to be honest I don't even need to use my ISO clean palette but I apologize for looking down that's where my mirror is but I hope let me see if I can bring you guys just a little bit closer because then you'll be able to see what I'm doing if I can do it in a right way so let's let's give this a go so we're gonna go and just tidy up around here because I want to add my blank canvas essentially onto this and might need some more if that makes any sense okay so you can definitely see it's coming off I'm gonna get more and obviously if you are a 
professional, you would obviously do this on your palette and do this and that. But this is going to be just for myself because I don't, I don't do like clients and stuff like that, obviously. So this is just um, me. This is actually coming out really nicely. Um, going to get a bit more. Again, I don't know if I would, again, spend £15 on this because it's a bit, just a bit expensive. So what I've taken off, I'm going to just get some of my tissue and just blend that out. Not blend it out, but just wipe it clean um, because, yeah, that's what, it, that's what it told me to do. And because it is quite glossy, um, when you do touch it and obviously you wipe it away, that's all gone. So... Yeah, that's that's pretty good. I mean, it's ha it's very very handy. So I'm gonna go on the other side now um, and see if I can achieve the same thing. Again, I'm just going in with that. It does seem to collect a little bit, so I'm just gonna slightly use my palette just to get any residue off, and then we're just gonna clean that off now. And the thing is, I with my skills, I well my lack of skills my precision is not amazing um so i am slowly trying to like get my blending working and get my kind of like just just getting better at my makeup basically but i think with something like this it definitely helps um just to be a bit more precise so this is good i wish they did a smaller version just because um I would probably never use all of this up, so I'm just cleaning this. But I guess if you are a professional and you do have clients and you do want to do really, really blown out makeup looks every day, then this is definitely for you, something part of your kit. Um, but I guess for just a makeup fan, um, I guess it is, it is worth it, but again, 15 pounds i'm gonna keep on just talking about it like it's 15 pounds um but you know what it is pretty good it does get rid of like everything but couldn't a makeup remover just do that like i know it's about precision and it's about kind of having those skills to be able to do it um but for me personally i think i just need a bit more practice with that so what I'm going to do now, I'm actually going to go at the top and just see if I can clean that off slightly as well because obviously at the top here it's just a tad messy so we're going to just clean that here and okay what I've actually done is made a mess like right up here but we're doing okay I think, I think for someone like me who is just absolutely useless I think this is going quite well um yeah that's i mean i've completely lost the kind of not symmetry because they weren't symmetrical in the first place but i think this is done quite well so what i'm going to do now and it is dry so it's not like it leaves that kind of vaseline feel to it i am going to now um just put on my blank canvas so i'm gonna slightly put it on top i do have another flat brush this is the oh this is also a 707 too okay you know what it's the same brush but it's just different um like version like series if that makes any sense because that's the p louise is cancelled and this is part of her um what a treat my base brush is it's kind of one of the first things i ever purchased from p louise weirdly enough which was um part of her it was like an eye base and you get a brush and it's like a green version um it was like it looked like a packet of crisps i can't remember what they're called but those were like the first p louise products i ever purchased and i've yeah loved them ever since so i'm just again tapping my blank canvas brush on here because i feel like a lot of residue is going to be made so I'm just gonna slowly cut my crease here and just tap it on because I, I believe the tapping is much easier than just like glizing it on okay hmm, so far I'm pretty I'm pretty surprised and pretty happy 
by what I'm using. Again, would I use this every single day? No, <laughs> because I don't feel like my profession, I, like, you know, doing videos like this is quite a, a rare thing in my aspect to kind of do something quite over the top because normally I don't do like dramatic dramatic looks like these so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna go back into my palette and I'm gonna use an eyeshadow like a shimmer sorry um, just kind of like on some of my crease that's probably a bit too big um, yeah let's go in with this one so I'm going in with the kind of like a smaller brush here this is a Huda Beauty one and I'm gonna go in with the shade Surrender so this is a red shimmer and I'm just gonna put that here and just blend it if I can get it on just tapping it on why is this not going on and the thing is with these with these uh, blank canvases obviously they're best used wet so that's why I was trying to like get it on as quick as possible Okay. How's that? Is that looking okay? Yeah. So quite surprised. I think, yeah, I'll give my final thoughts at the end, even though I've given <laughs> my thoughts quite, you know, quite a lot throughout the video. All right. So I do really like this um, Watch the Queen Conquer palette as well. It's absolutely gorgeous. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to quickly go off camera, put on the rest of my face because um, it's not really anything P. Louise related. And then when I come back, I will give my final thoughts. Okay, this is my finished look. And I just want to talk about the lips really quickly because I thought I would try something different. And I really, really like it. When I purchased the Cut Carver, I actually picked up one of her lip liners because they were on discount for like 350 So this is in the shade, I believe it's called, yeah, it's called Privacy. So it's a bit of a deeper tone than like a dark brown. And then I went in with one of her Perfect Pout lipsticks in the shade um, So You Can, which is a bit of a lighter shade, but I just mix them together. And I really like it. I really like the way it's worked. But anyway, let's talk about the Cut Carver. And is it worth £15? Um, for me, personally, I'm going to say no. Even though I did really like it as a product. Um, again, you get you do get a lot of products in here. You get 1 ounce, um, one point two zero ounces, which is obviously a lot. And I'm going to be using this for a really long time. But how often... Am I gonna go? I need to get my cut carver out so I can cut my crease with it. Um, it's just a step that I feel like is not gonna be part of my major routine, especially if I'm just doing something really simple. But I do feel like I will. I will definitely use it. I'm not gonna just leave it there and let it melt away because it's just not gonna be worth it. But yeah, let me know what you guys think and do you think it's worth it? Do you think it is a glorified? kind of like Vaseline do you think it's a glorified kind of just makeup wipe when you can just like do it yourself in five seconds you doesn't have to be much precision and yeah thank you so much for watching I hope you have enjoyed this video please don't forget to like and subscribe because I film and upload every time I get a chance to don't forget to follow me on any of my social medias because I'm always active on there and I'm doing a lot more TikToks these days I'm not talking but I'm just showing you stuff and I hope you guys are doing so well and I will see you hopefully in the next one bye bye <laughs>